Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your ASUS router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. The first step is turning on the router. Plug the power adapter into the router. Connect one end to an outlet and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. When the router powers on, the indicator will illuminate. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. The next step is to connect the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem to the internet port. This port is often marked as internet and typically has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you now need to reset the router to its original factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the router's indicator lights to start flashing. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will reboot and all the settings will return to their factory defaults. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable from the router into a LAN port. The other end into the Ethernet card of your computer or laptop. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, if you don't have an ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an ethernet port, I'll show you another way to connect the router. All you need to do is connect the router with the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi if your router is new, the name of your Wi-Fi network will be the same as the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, come up with a new login and password to access the router's admin panel. Next, click on this button. Here you can choose the language of the router's admin panel. I will leave it in English. 
Next, let's move on to the router settings. To do this, click on this button. Wait until it finishes checking the connection type. On the next page, you can change the name and password of your Wi-Fi network. You can keep the default credentials, but to change them, click here. Create a new name and password. Pay attention to the password requirements and save the settings. On the next page, you will see all your Wi-Fi information. Click on this button. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network. If you want to change the name and password of your Wi-Fi network in the future, you can do it here. Now you need to reboot your router. Wait a couple of minutes until the router is fully powered on. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, you can try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go back into the router's admin panel. Then go to the WAN section. And on this page, click the MAC clone button. Save the settings. Reboot the router again. After a couple of minutes, when the router is fully powered on, check again if the internet is working. Just try Googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.